This is Maha Majda Tamne. Just nine years old, she is an innocent victim of the ongoing cycles of conflict that keep devastating Gaza. Maha's mum shudders as she recalls the devastating bombings of 2006. When the bombings began, she fled her home and saw dead bodies lying on the ground. Many were bleeding, some with body parts missing. Then she found her son. He was dead. He was just 10 years old. A little later, some time after the ceasefire, her husband died of a heart attack. During last year's bombings, Maha's family experienced even more loss. Once again, the bombing started, and once again, the family fled to the UN schools. After its ceasefire, they would return home, risking their lives. They would check their home was okay and pick up basic supplies. Eventually, with nowhere to go, they decided to stay at home, even while the bombing was ongoing. <laughs> Thankfully, the family survived, but their home didn't. One night, while they were praying, their home was shelled, and Maha, her mum and her sisters fled to the basement. When they were safe to come out, there were no doors left, no windows, no water, and no electricity. And Maha's family were the lucky ones. Some of the neighbors' homes were collapsed to ground level. This violence in Gaza is a continuous cycle of loss and devastation. And orphans like Maha desperately need our support. Please, help us rebuild young lives in Gaza. Sponsor an orphan like Maha today.